Over 90% of this country is covered in mountains. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Tajikistan, a landlocked country in Central Asia known for its breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural heritage. Nestled amidst the Pamir Mountains, Tajikistan offers a stunning tapestry of rugged mountains, alpine lakes, and lush valleys. Join us and stay to learn more about this country's geography, history, and people. Tajikistan is a landlocked country located in Central Asia. It shares borders with Afghanistan to the south, Uzbekistan to the west, Kyrgyzstan to the north, and China to the east. Tajikistan covers 143,100 square kilometers, or 55,251 square miles, making it the 96th largest country in the world. Tajikistan can be divided into four main geographical zones. The Fergana Valley in the north has fertile lands. The northern mountains include the Turkestan, Zaravshan, and Alay ranges. Central Tajikistan consists of rugged high mountains like the Pamirs and the Hisar range. The southern lowlands border Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. 93% of Tajikistan is mountainous. The Pamir and Alai ranges contain peaks over 7,000 meters or 4,349 feet, including Ismail Samani Peak at 7,495 meters or 4,657 feet. Glaciers cover over 6% of the land area. Earthquakes are frequent due to tectonic plate movements. Tajikistan has a population of over 9 million people. The Tajiks are the largest ethnic group, making up around 80% of the population. Tajiks speak Tajik, a language from the Iranian branch of the Indo-European languages. The Pamiri people are a smaller ethnic minority living in the gorno badakhshan Autonomous Region in the eastern part of the country. They speak various Pamiri languages. Other ethnic groups in Tajikistan include Uzbeks and Russians. Uzbeks make up around 15% of the population and are concentrated in northern Tajikistan near the border with Uzbekistan. Many Russians migrated to Tajikistan during the Soviet era, although their numbers have declined since independence. There are also small communities of Kyrgyz, Tatars, and Kazakhs. The majority of people in Tajikistan are Sunni Muslims. Islam came to the region in the 8th century and gradually replaced Zoroastrianism. The Pamiri people follow the Ismaili branch of Shia Islam. There are also small numbers of Christians, Buddhists, and adherents of other faiths. Tajik cuisine reflects the country's colorful history along the Silk Road and blending of Persian, Russian, and Central Asian influences. Signature dishes make abundant use of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and tea. Spices like cumin, sesame, and chili pepper add flair to Tajik cooking. Ash is the national dish, a hearty stew with meat, carrots, onions, and potatoes served over steaming rice. Variations add chickpeas, beans, or quince. The mixture of sweet and savory flavors makes ash satisfying and iconic. Mantu. These steamed dumplings are filled with ground meat and onions. Mantu are often served with yogurt, sour cream, and fried onion topping for a tangy crunch. They make a warming and comforting meal any time of day. Sherbo is a flavorful soup, usually with meat, beans, and vegetables. Kam Sherbo features whole wheat noodles. Both make a nourishing hearty soup for winter months or any time warmth is needed. No Tajik meal is complete without this salted milk tea. Cardamom, cinnamon, and milk are simmered and mixed with strong black tea for a comforting brew. Sipping shirchoy with family or friends builds bonds. 
The territory of what is now Tajikistan has been inhabited since the beginning of human history. Archaeological evidence shows some of the earliest human settlements in Central Asia date back over 20,000 years. Agriculture began by the 7th millennium BCE. The region was an important part of trade routes like the famous Silk Road. Ancient cities like Sarazm, Penjikent, and Bukhara rose to prominence. Islam began spreading in Central Asia in the 8th century CE. The Semenid Empire ruled the region from the 9th to 10th century CE. This brought the Persian language and culture. Following the Mongol invasions in the 13th century, the area came under the rule of local Central Asian kingdoms, as well as control by the Chinese Empire. In the 19th century, the Russian Empire expanded and took control of Central Asia. Tajikistan became part of Russian Turkestan in 1867. The Soviet Union was proclaimed in 1922 with Tajikistan as one of its constituent republics. Tajik culture was suppressed under policies of Russification and secularization. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Tajikistan declared independence in 1991. However, a civil war broke out shortly after, lasting from 1992 to 1997. The country has struggled with poverty, corruption, and instability since independence. Long-running President Emomali Rahmon has ruled since 1994. Tajikistan continues to develop its economy and infrastructure as an independent nation. Tajikistan's economy relies heavily on agriculture, mining, and hydroelectric power. Cotton is the main agricultural crop and one of its chief exports. Aluminum production using the country's plentiful hydropower is another major industry. The economy is dependent on remittances sent home by Tajik migrant workers abroad. Tajikistan has a GDP of $8.7 billion and faces major economic challenges. It suffered a devastating civil war following independence from the Soviet Union. The economy remains the poorest in Central Asia, with nearly 30% of people living below the poverty line. Corruption, lack of infrastructure, and vulnerability to global markets undermine development. The country must import fuels, machinery, metals, and many consumer goods not produced domestically. Its main exports are aluminum, cotton, fruits, precious metals, and electricity. Key trade partners are Russia, Kazakhstan, China, Turkey, and Iran. It relies heavily on Russia for remittances and investment. Tajikistan has potential for future growth by harnessing its water resources for hydroelectricity and irrigation. It also has untapped mineral deposits, expanding manufacturing, education, and entrepreneurship could further develop the economy while reducing corruption and attracting foreign direct investment are priorities. If you enjoyed this video on Tajikistan, you'll love this next one.